Okay, this is the 47 tooth sprocket. It has two little rag joints and miscellaneous bolts and washers and lock nuts. The problem that I've had with this thing is cheaply made, not worth the money that I paid for it. I think that I paid 25 bucks. And so far, it fits really shitty. Like, as you can see, this is something that needs to be perfectly round so that it can be powered by the chain on the go-kart or whatever you have. So any little play, it's going to ruin everything. It came with this cheap China-made washers and bolts. The actual two rags that fit, the bolts are crooked, the fucking holes are misaligned. You can tell that they're stamped out in a lot of numbers. The only quality part of this is the actual sprocket and that's made out of pot metal so we'll see how much it lasts um one thing that i recommend doing with this thing before i even put it on my bike i'm going to add more washers to right here you could see they gave you little washers and maybe even putting grade 8 bolts rather than these little it actually says 4.8 um I'm going to use this for a while, but I'm worried that when I put it onto the spokes, because the way that it works is the two joints right here bolt up to the actual rim, but as it's going through, it's going to end up loosening up with all these, those little washers and shit aren't going to hold it. And it'll be interesting to see how the back side of the nuts, I tighten them down without playing with it because these are oblong holes. There's another sprocket that you could buy that I saw for like $80 that I passed up on because of the price, but it seemed way more better because it bolts onto the actual hub and looks good. So this is how I rate the 47 tooth sprocket.